You're on. All right, so as I'm sure you know, there is no perfect house. Every house is gonna have a little list of issues um, and anything can be fixed. So just keep that in mind as we go through this. Um, so there's the beautiful house. Um, jumping up to the roof, um, there's a little bit of wear to the roof. Um, they don't date stamp these things for us. So we don't know exactly how old they are. Um, but if I had to guess, I would put this in the 15 to 20 year range. Now typical shingle roofs last 20 to 30 years. And it looks like it still has some life in it, but it is a little beat up. You know, it's got a little bit of granule loss, um, which is what these little spots are here. The, the granules on the shingles are starting to wear away, possibly even a little bit of hail damage. Um, this is a vent. Um, this one's actually into the garage, but there is ones for the attic as well. And these are supposed to spin and that sucks the hot air out of the attic and helps keep your house energy efficient. Um, these are start spinning. So all the neighbor ones are spinning and your guys's aren't. So the bearings on these could just be failing. A lot of times some WD-40 will take care of that. Um, otherwise, you know, maybe you get those replaced. They're not super expensive. They're like 15 to 30 bucks. Um, also on the roof, we got a lot of these exposed nail heads. So these will act like a highway for water. The water gets on the nail head, it just runs right down into the roof. That's easy, we just need these sealed up. And is this is a solar tube? That's one of those solar tubes. Okay. <laughs> and, and just remember, like this is a solar tube in, in there that just lets light into the house. Um, I had a missing sh uh, shingle out of place, and this was actually just one of the decorative ones that are kind of um, up, you know, to give it that textured look. So it's not really hurting anything, but it is just showing that the roof is aging a little bit. Um, around the fireplace, we're getting some cracks in some of the, the joints, <clears throat> excuse me, around the fireplace and also the AC units. Um, this is pretty minor at this point, but I would recommend just some typical maintenance. You know, every three to five years, someone needs to go up and touch up all this stuff. The gutters on the front of the house aren't sloped properly for drainage, which is why we're getting all this debris in the gutters. You know, if they were sloped properly, the debris would get in the gutter with the water and it would run out of the gutter. Um, so they'll hold water and that could eventually cause the fascia and stuff to deteriorate. Um, right now, the outside actually looks pretty good. It looks like everything's pretty freshly painted though. Um, so in the attic, we do have a, um, a couple evidence of leaks. This one's over near that vent that I showed you for the garage. Um, and it looks like they have resealed a lot of the And is that the spinning vent you were talking about? Yeah. Okay. Um, but it looks like they did do some resealing up on the on the roof, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a roofer check it out just to make sure that everything looks good, especially, like I said, around the fireplace. Um, and I do have a little water stain in the laundry room. Um, not 100% sure what this is below, but it could be kind of where the new roof hits the old roof and in that flashing area there would be a leak. Water is a, is a tricky thing because water will flow from I any remember. location yeah. <laughs> to the lowest point before it pops up. Exactly. And roofers, they can come out and they can run a hose on the roof and do a full-blown water test and find those leaks if they need to. Um, all around the exterior of the house, we're going to have little gaps and cracks and stuff like that. That's really typical for any home.